Well, hello everybody. It's Erica. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I am here today to do a drawing of a bug because among many of the other things I like, I also like bugs. If you're new to my channel and you like bugs too, and you like art, maybe consider subscribing. I try to put out a new video every Thursday, so today is my Thursday video, but sometimes I throw in a couple of extras there throughout the week. And on the rare occasion that I can't think of anything to talk about, I might throw out one that's just music and, you know, no commentary. So, every once in a while you can look forward to one of those. Because I'm pretty sure that I've only got like about maybe seven people that actually listen to what I'm saying. And hey, you guys rock. Thanks for sticking in there and listening to me ramble on. <laughs> like, just for fun, let's do a little experiment. If you're listening to me right now and you want to be included in this little game, <laughs> go ahead and put two question marks down in the comments. And then I'll know that you actually were listening to me while I was rambling on about my bug. So the bug I'm drawing today, it's a, um, it's called a Pseudocrobotra walbergi, and I may have said that wrong, but it's either that, or it's also called a spiny flower mantis, and it's a small flower mantis, which I didn't realize there were so many different varieties of praying mantis. I mean, there are so many different ones. There's actually another one, a cool um, orchid mantis, and I'm probably going to do one of those too because I really liked that one. And I don't know if you notice, I kind of have a reference that I'm looking at because when I looked up this bug, I couldn't find any pictures of this bug that was just like flat on the top, like, you know, a straight above picture. They were all like kind of from the side or the wings were open. So I kind of did a sketch just to get an idea where I wanted everything to go because I didn't really want to guess while I was putting it into my actual sketchbook. I, I don't like to mess things up once they're in an actual sketchbook because I can't tear the pages out of these. They're in there. There's no tearing them out. It would look funny if I tore it out. <laughs> and I'm a little OCD. I don't like things that aren't the way they're supposed to be. Although I have gotten better about that in my in my um, older age, <laughs> I, I don't let everything bother me as much as it used to. Like some of the things maybe would have bothered me before about this drawing, like maybe it wasn't exactly perfect from one side to the other. One leg's not exactly the same, but it's okay. It's okay it, cause, because in the bug world, they may not ha keep their legs exactly the same. So I've learned to go with, a little bit of imperfection in, you know, the sides. I, I can't make it perfect on both sides. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess I, maybe if I really, really tried really, really hard. But that's a lot of effort. <laughs> and which is probably why I had such a hard time in my youth finishing things. Because, I mean, I honestly, I don't know if I could get it perfect, even if I really, really tried. So, yeah, weird. Oh, and the little unicorn at the beginning of the video, that's the um, gift my sister gave me that I have that sits on my desk, a little glass-blown unicorn. I think she got it from the Shell Factory. It's so cute, but I love unicorns. I love gaudy unicorns, too. <laughs> I don't know if anybody listening <laughs> watches Buffy the Vampire Slayer or has watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but there was an episode when... Harmony started a gang of vampires and they were going to kill the Slayer <laughs> and they robbed the magic shop and they stole a cheap unicorn from the shelf and it was a question like what kind of evil person would fancy a cheap unicorn? <laughs> yeah, I would so... <laughs> So for this piece, I used um, the Dr. Phil Martin's Bombay inks, and I also used some of the Calero watercolor gold, and I will leave a link for
for all of the products that I use for this piece in the description below if you're interested in checking any of that out. So I was kind of torn when I started this one because I really didn't know if I wanted to go with bugs or if I wanted to do mermaids in this book. And I decided to go with the bugs only because I like to do my mermaids on a bigger scale. I like to have a little more detail in them. So I figured bugs are already small. So when I'm doing it on a small piece of paper, even though the paper's small, the bug's blown up. <laughs> So I decided to go ahead and do this um, watercolor art journal um, quotation. I was doing air quotation marks on their art journal <laughs> in, um, with bugs in it because my other one's got the snakes. So I have one with snakes and I have one with bugs. And I really love these books. They have great quality paper in them. And the yeah, they're nice. They're nice to work with. And oh my god, has anybody seen the train wreck that is Onision? That's some crazy stuff. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. And I will probably see you or talk to you in the next video. I'm sure I'll have a couple up before next Thursday. So, alright. Thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. You rock. And thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.